Hey everybody, uh, hopefully the sound is working. I will check with you in just a second on Discord to make sure that it is. Uh, but it's just about time for mailbag. Let's see here. Oh, hey, my watch is turned off. How about that? Oh man, the choice of having a digital watch. Pretty nifty idea. Um, all right. Okay. Now let's see. I know we have some letters and cards in here, so we'll get those. Take a second to make sure I'm recording just in case. I don't know why I bother anymore. <laughs> Uh, the wonderful uh, that other people have this all so well managed. Uh, let's see here, though. There we go. Well, this camera should be a little bit better lit, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. Huh. I still think we should put some curtains on that back door. But we don't have them. So uh, I know this camera here that's looking at me, hi, by the way, um, sometimes fails and locks up. So we can expect that. Um, let's see, where's Discord? Good sound, excellent. Okay, well, uh, sounds like we're ready then. Happy mailbag, everybody. Um, what uh, what's the news for the week? I had really have no idea. This week was a blur. Like it went by so fast. Uh, I guess because I spent a lot of it cleaning up after kittens upstairs. Uh, the rooms up there aren't looking quite so bare today. I think uh, we put a few things in there. I gave uh, Cuddles kids a tunnel yesterday. I thought they were ready for it because all their poops and stuff stay pretty in the litter box or very close to. Um, but uh, the tunnel turned out to be a target for pee, so uh, they've lost their tunnel privileges for the moment, but they got their beanbag back, which is nice for me. Um, anyway, uh, you know that the, both mom cats I brought in a stool sample for, and it turns out they both tested positive for Giardia, which is not, you know, it's not unheard of, especially for, you know, cats that we rescue from outdoors, um, you know, it's something that they pick up in the water, and it gives the... Uh, a lot of cats can have it and be asymptomatic, so you don't even know that they have it. And there's a whole range of, you know, potential uh, sort of visibility uh, for the problem. But um, the kittens were having some very bad poops with a like, real distinctive uh, smell that, that sort of comes along with it in kittens sometimes. So that's why I brought in mom as uh, stool samples. The kittens weren't making enough for me to bring in. Uh, they both tested positive for Giardia, so the, we've been treating everybody for that. I should say all the kittens and the two mom cats upstairs. Uh, nobody else, because I don't really think that it's spread out to the faculty at all. Um, but if I, if I did suspect that, we could also treat them. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, really. You just give them Panicure for about five days and then uh, they're fine, but it does like um, kind of stay in the environment very easily and it gets picked up again very easily so they can reinfect themselves like over and over and over if you don't sterilize the area, um, which is why this week I had to clean both rooms very thoroughly um, after they'd been through a few days of treatment and then um, uh, clean both rooms very, oh, and of course sterilize them, uh, it turns out, the, uh, the usual thing that we use for sterilizing the rooms is Vircon, a product called Vircon, that's V-I-R-K-O-N. It's basically like a really strong oxidizer that uh, therefore kills almost any virus or, uh, you know, bacteria or uh, Giardia, you know, in this case. Uh, it turns out to be one of the uh, best uh, ways to make sure that Giardia is killed in the environment. So, um, yeah, that's that, I guess. We'll see how it goes. So far, it seems like they're all improving up there. Um, the leaky bottoms are becoming a little less so day by day. Uh, fingers crossed that they continue to improve. And if not, then we will start them also on some metronidazole, um, which is, you know, another treatment that some people use for uh, well, for any sort of GI problem, but for Giardia sometimes specifically. It's not as, as effective for Giardia as Panicure, which is why we went for that. Panicure, the brand name for uh, Fembendazole, a uh, deworming agent that is just commonly uh, used for kittens. Uh, a lot of places will just give it to them whether they suspect they have anything or not, because it's it's really harmless to the kitten. So 
so yeah, that was most of my week was sort of taking care of those kids, cleaning up a lot of bad poop, uh, and then cleaning some rooms very, very, very thoroughly. Um, other than that, I don't think there's too much news. Now, uh, those of you that have been sort of watching my interactions with Cuddles will see that um, that uh, um, she's not the biggest fan of me right now, and I can't really blame her for that. Not only did I make a bunch of changes to her room, but uh, I've also been trying to give her medicine. She turns out to be very easy to medicate. Once you've got her, like once you're holding her, uh, especially if you scruff her, She's extremely passive, uh, super easy to medicate in that sense, but uh, it doesn't, she doesn't like me very much as a result of it. Uh, a lot of our faculty is harder to medicate than she is. You know, they will struggle and try to get away and, and fight you. Uh, Maggie, in particular, I think, is, is that way almost all the time, where she just hates being medicated and she hates sort of being held uh, to be medicated. It makes it extremely difficult. Um, but uh, cuddles is not difficult at all. She turns out to be uh, surprisingly easy. So uh, it is what it is. That is uh, basically it for the week, though. I think that's taken up um, all of my uh, brain power, at least, if not time. Now, here we have uh, what should be three postcards from Ubi Nam Rosari. Um, I know you've told me how to say your name a dozen times, and it just doesn't stick in my head. Uh, but they're labeled uh, two of three and three of three. So uh, I guess there's one that's probably going to arrive late. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So we'll just hop right in on two of three, which is this adorable mom cat nursing her kittens in a field of pumpkins. Uh, pretty obviously photoshopped a giant cat, but uh, it's cute. It's very adorable. And I can see that with the pumpkins in the foreground and the mountain in the background and the pregnant mom cat front and center, there's sort of a theme here. Uh, so it says, I like to think of this card as showing a future KA class on a field trip to one of the local pumpkin patches with a view of Mount Hood. Maybe Dr. DJ could lick the card front and tell us all the names of these cats. <laughs> That's cute. And then we have this one, which is uh, some sort of a building. I can almost read the something hall. Mackenzie Hall, okay. I'm not familiar, um, and uh, on the Photoshop, then a big white cat on a fountain there, sort of uh, oozing, playing. It says, this lovely cat is lounging by the fountain in front of Mackenzie Hall on the main campus of Oregon Health and Science University. OHSU, I've heard OHSU, but I, I guess I never realized that it stood for Oregon Health and Science University. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, OHSU is currently building a bigger new ICU and MICU. Hint, hint, <laughs> cat grin. Uh, see you all in June at KA Con. All right, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you and everybody else at KA Con. That should be a lot of fun. Thank you for the two of three cards. Um, I guess uh, our postal service is, you know, two out of three. Not bad, really. So then we have another card here that has. Uh, really cool Lunar New Year stamps on it. Those are awesome rabbits that are all decorated and with the, the moon on them, the pattern. It's, uh, wow, it's very cool. Uh, kind of creepy, but, you know, not, not nearly like Donnie Darko levels of creepy bunny. So uh, we've also got a teapot and three beautiful kitties. There you go. And uh, I should get out a letter opener, but since it's our only letter, I'm just going to tear it. Cool. This has a cartoon on the front. Uh, it's got kittens, um, it's got cats that are uh, dining out, and the waiter is asking them, would you like a box for the rest of your meal? And one of the cats is saying, that would be great. And then there's the next panel that has the two of them still at the restaurant in a box, uh, <laughs> which is <laughs> very cute. Uh, there you go. Inside it says, Dear Mr. ADJ and all the felines at Kitten Academy, happy anniversary to an out-of-the-box couple Love, hugs, and purrs from Anna Marie, a.k.a. Philly Mouse, and K.A.'s intrepid reporter. Thank you so much, uh, Philly Mouse, both for the card and for all that you do to sort of spread the word. I appreciate it so much. And you've also sent us a donation, which is absolutely not necessary, but greatly appreciated. I think you've donated enough to us uh, just in your time and effort. Um, and then this is the note, and I believe it says, Car Pay had a stream. So, um, well, I think we knew that. I'm, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun of your handwriting, but that uh, was just a little hard to translate. So, um, let's see here. We've got some sort of, again, a very beautiful clock tower uh, building here. This one is a sketch, though, and uh, extremely uh, well done. Oh, and inside we've got some cool transparent stickers uh, that have all come out of their little package. Let's see if I can take a look at them and maybe put them back in. I think these are stickers. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and the feline residents of Kitten Academy, I want to express my deepest... Um, Gratitude and congratulations on the 8th anniversary of Kitten Academy. You bring such joy into our lives um, each and every day. Enclosed is a donation to be used <coughs> as you see fit. Uh, also, some stickers for your collection. These are very, very cute little cat stickers. And uh, printed on transparent um, uh, plastic so that I guess... Um, when you put them on, all this, whatever, you just see the kitten, which is cute. Um, take good care of yourselves and make Kitten Academy continue for many years to come with love, hugs, and purrs. Uh, Philly Mouse, Philly Mouse, thank you very, very much. That is sweet of you and uh, a wonderful sentiment. I also hope that Kitten Academy uh, may continue for many years to come. So, uh, oh, I see how they fell out. There's actually, this package is completely open on the bottom. That's, they just fell right, I put them in, not noticing that half of them are just falling right back out again. Wow. Okie dokie. All right, oh, that one I didn't even get in. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set these on here the way I found them and put them back in this little card over here to be put away uh, at a later time. Okay. This first thing says, Professor Custard. There are instructions to cut here, please. Um, which is uh, nice to, to know where to, to do it, but also I'm a little skeptical. I'm gonna try to cut a little closer to the edge than might be indicated, just to see if I can tell. I think I'm using these scissors because they seemed appropriate, but I, I wonder if I should switch to a knife. Yeah, I think I should. I can see now. Um, hang on. I might be able to be a little more careful if I do it this way. So it looks like there is something that goes right up to the edge of this envelope, perhaps. I can't tell if it's something that is uh, to be preserved or something that is, you know... Uh, a knife, uh, packing knife guard or packing material. Oh, I see. Yes, there is a little lip there. Okay. All right. Very carefully open. A letter for Professor Custard. I see. That was basically a knife guard, a big thick envelope, so we were fine. Uh, and there's a note and a Ziploc bag. Ooh, very mysterious. All right. Inside the note. Can I get this out? Hang on. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hello, Professor Custard. My son has asked me to forward this to you. I'm sure there's no explanation needed. Take care. Charlie, on behalf of Trent. Well, thank you very much, Trent. Let's see uh, if there is, in fact, no explanation needed. Uh, maybe I'll have to ask Custard to explain it to me. Oh, okay. It goes deeper. Another package. I see cake. What is that all about? It looks like we've got a kitchen towel here. And it says, I'm slimming tomorrow. I was meant to be tubby. Potatoes are just vegetables. <laughs> uh, Sunday, Monday, what does it matter? It's uh, the scales lying. This is very cute. Uh, it's such a silly bit left. Yes, uh, I've never heard that phrase, but I like that as a phrasing for I might as well eat what's left here since there's not much left. Um, I mustn't embarrass the host. I'm on the seafood diet. I see food. Eat. Uh, chairs have gotten smaller. It's too big Go in the tin to go in the tin. And uh, I'm just having little middle age spread on toast. <laughs> That is, I can, I can see, there is no explanation needed. Uh, very suitable for our friend Custard. 
It's adorable. That's a wonderful little kitchen towel um, that uh, I think is can apply to maybe more than just custard around here. I think this is a problem I've frequently encountered. So uh, I find it all too relatable. Thank you so much, Trent. Uh, much appreciated. I think there may be another package here from uh, Charlie. Let's check that next since it's right on top. The rest of this I'm going to put in there. These kids can play with this since they already are. So let's take a look and see. Open carefully. Oh, I think you sent me the note for this package on Discord. So uh, hang on one sec. I'll grab my phone and read that to everyone. I see this is packed in a similar fashion. Okay. I think this is all that's in here. Yep. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. The rest of this is just packing material. Uh, very well packed and preserved. So this is the name ring for that spooky mouse, which is the spooky mouse is currently uh, in the, the pile of things to be completely disinfected, which I haven't done. Um, that's all the stuff I took out of the room. Uh, well, most of it. Some of it went straight to the garbage. Um, most of the toys did, but <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's that for that letter. Um, but the, the mouse is still just waiting for me to make sure it's properly disinfected before I return it to the room. And it is the name ring for Big Daddy Whiskers, as you can see. Uh, I guess I never know if this camera's still on. That's just why I'm showing it to both. Hi, do you want to wear that for a sec, huh? No? Okay. Do you want to play with it? I guess I could let you play with it. It's not going to hurt anything if I do. Nope. <laughs> Hi, you guys are just into everything. That reminds me. Um, we got news from Dawes that there's an approved adopter again uh, for uh, Holiday and her brother Monday to go together to be adopted. Um, so far, I've reached out to that uh, adopter on Discord and by email and haven't gotten a response either place. So um, I, I hope we don't end up right back where we started once again. Um, but if you did apply for them uh, recently and uh, maybe we're even told by Dawes that you were approved, please get back to me on uh, either Discord or by email. Uh, check your spam on both places if you can. Otherwise, probably Monday I'll try the telephone. Uh, very old-fashioned way to communicate. Uh, so, uh, Charlie, thank you so much for the, the uh, name ring for Big Daddy Whiskers, which is a good name for, I think, the, the sort of creepy mouse. Oh, and I had you said you had a note. Uh, hang on. I, I do need to check that. Uh, mm -hmm. Here it is. The note says... Enclosed is the name ring for our fantastic, brilliant, great mouse. His name came about when a Discorder posted on chat, Big Daddy Whiskers, just a second before I could finish typing. I thought, well, two great minds think alike, so let it be. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> you say, uh, not everyone agreed or even liked the mouse being there. Yeah, there is something I dislike at KA, but would never object to it happening as... Uh, this thing can never be taken out of KA, so I have to deal with it. Uh, so enjoy the mouse named Ring, which can be passed. I, uh, I was going to make, when I read your note earlier, I was going to make a joke about how uh, it's not nice to talk about Maggie that way. Uh, so there you go, that's the joke. So enjoy the mouse named Ring, which can be passed on to the next great mouse, and the next, and the next. I hope there will always be a Big Daddy Whiskers at KA. Take care, Charlie. Charlie, thank you very much. Um, yeah, we actually already have a second one still in the box in the basement, so there will definitely be one around for a while. And I know they seem, they look kind of creepy, but they are excellent cat beds. They really are. I think it's it's well-constructed, uh, well-imagined. I, I quite like it for those reasons, even though I can agree that on the stream it can look a little bit creepy from time to time. Uh, but the cats love it, and, you know, that's what really matters, so... All right. Uh, thank you so much for the name ring. I will uh, make sure that that goes with the mouse when it is returned to the room. And now we have some packages here uh, in no particular order. Let's see. This is a very flat package, so let's start there. Hmm. Oh, hey, 
this is interesting. So uh, I forget now who it's from, and there's no note here. But we got this little package in a uh, mailbag a, a week or two ago, this cute little package, and it was empty. It was completely empty, and we didn't know why. Um, and now we have, I believe, the replacement, which is not at all empty and contains two lovely key rings with, I believe they are moon cats. Oh, and they go together, I think. I think you can put them, yes. One is, they hook together like a, like a little friendship bracelet or something. One is silver, one is gold. They go together to form a full circle. How cool. Hang on, I got to take them all the way out so I can properly show them off. Uh, so that would be probably be a little key ring for me and a little key ring for DJ. And then when we combine our powers, uh, we can take the form of an ice bridge. Uh, let's see here. Thank God. The Wonder Twins were such weird superheroes. Oh my goodness. No, it's just this is bizarre. Um, okay. So here we go, a beautiful, lovely little uh, sort of moon-shaped gold cat and a sort of moon-shaped silver cat. And we can see that uh, by their powers combined, we are Cat Pin Planet. Um, so there you Cat Pin Planet. I mean, it almost is. That's, that's almost a very good pun uh, if they were pins instead of uh, key rings. So that's beautiful, though. I really, really like that design a lot. And the fact that one is gold and one is silver is beautiful. They're, they're lovely. They really are lovely. Uh, thank you so much for sending those. I'm glad that, that uh, I'm, I'm assuming the replacement of them came through. Uh, and, uh, and again, I'm sorry that I, I forget now who it was that had sent that empty bag before. But, uh, but thank you very much. Um, that's adorable. It's, it's really a cool design. All right, stop pulling things out of here, monkey, you little monkey. You're into everything. These two are just such little uh, kittens. They're just kittens. They're into everything all the time. Uh, they're both big talkers, too. I notice, you know, the differences between the families uh, starts to become apparent when you have so many of them at once. Uh, and um, it seems like some of the kittens upstairs just don't really say much at all. These two say a lot. Uh, Holly will talk to you all day long, especially if she wants something. And uh, little Monday there is uh, especially a talker when you try to pick him up. He, he sounds like he's objecting to it, but then I picked him up last night and he started doing his usual, you know, like, uh, put me down kind of talking at me. Uh, but he was also purring like so loudly. Maybe it doesn't mean put me down at all. Uh, maybe he just is a big talker. I don't know. It's not like he struggles a lot. Um, anyway, uh, now we have two boxes, box one of two and box two of two from uh, the same person who always sends numbered boxes. This is from the Johnsons, uh, Ruth and Bob, I should say. I don't think their last name's a secret, but if it is, whoops. Uh, here we go. Oh, wow, what a cool blanket. Uh, this blanket is, uh, look at that cat on there. That's very cool. Quilty Cat's Blanket. Uh, the colors on this are awesome, and that's going to look great in a room. Now we have the note, and the note has some, uh, I guess, Scottish folds on the front, or the kittens look that way anyhow, but the mom is definitely not. She's got her ears all up, but they've got the same face, and they're all climbing and biting on her. It's adorable. The note says... Uh, Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Congratulations on eight years of KA streaming. Though we hadn't seen KA until the Bready Bunch, we love every minute of watching these kittens grow and are so grateful to be part of such a supportive community. The items are ma mail marked. Oh, the items are marked, and if not, please use as you see fit. Many thanks for all you do every day. Gratefully love Bob and Ruth. Bob and Ruth, thank you both so much. Um, I'm the one who's truly grateful. You have been uh, just wonderful to all of the kittens and cats and faculty, uh, including myself here at KA. So, oh, oh, look at that. That's on the loose. Okay, here we have greenies for KA, which are treats that are highly sought after um, to the point where I usually have to wash my hands after I've given them out or else my fingers get bitten. Uh, we have some carrots, toy time carrots with very cute faces on them. 
and also an avocado, a tortilla chip, and a bowl of guacamole. Uh, <laughs> the guacamole is very cute. All right. Uh, we have a bag of the uh, Jackson uh, Pollock uh, fish, I guess, is, is what it says here. Is that right? What am I? Th yeah. Anyway, it does say Pollock fish. And uh, you can see they're very painted. It's a bag of four of them. That's wonderful. Those will be used all over. That's the Yao catnip, which is always a winner. We have a faculty, KA faculty, uh, marshmallow style blanket, it says, in this lovely white and gray. Uh, whatever this is, kitty kick sticks. Oh, please have a meowing of a good time. Well, let's take a look. I guess this tissue paper is going to become yet another toy. Oh, it's so cute. It's got candy hearts on it. Little tiny candy hearts. Adorable. Wow, and it smells like catnip, too. Must be pretty strong. Now, this says four cuddles. Oh, I see. I think it's a, a mat that's got not marshmallow material, but more sort of like a... Um, oh, it's not just a mat, is it? Let's see. Let's find out. What shape does it take? I'm going to have to be able to put it back in there for cuddles. Oh, it does. It says Jackson Galaxy, and it is like a big old mat, but it's also got a drawstring around the edge, which could let you fold it up into a bed, I expect. Let me see. Kind of, like a bed, uh, like a pouchy, beddy thing. Hang on, i got to distribute the, the wrinkles there. Ooh, well... Uh, the usual Jackson Galaxy quality here. The uh, clasp has uh, self-destructed. So that's all right. We could always just tie these strings together. We don't need a clasp on it, do we? It's also got a cute little pocket on the outside here. Yeah, look at that. That makes a very cute bed. And also a very cute rug. I love the fact that it's dual purpose. And uh, that is, it's cool. And I'm guessing the little pocket here is to tuck the string into so that it's nice and safe which is a very thoughtful addition to uh, this design. That's uh, why the pocket is right here next to the string. How cool. Um, I do. I like it quite a bit. And uh, like I said, it doesn't need the clasp. You can just tie a little knot in it or whatever you like, and that's good enough for me. There we go. For now, I'm going to try to put it back in the bag so that I remember that it is for cuddles. Uh, actually, I quite like this, and the back is this really strong, like, ripstop nylon. It'll probably last forever. It'll probably wash really well. So that's all good. Okay. <laughs> all right, in the bag. Get in there. All right. Another one of these. I'm just going to, whoop, there you go. You guys can have it right meow. And then this one is another one of those cute little uh, mat slash beds that we've had here on the floor. And this one says for Skylight. I think she'll like it. It's a cute sort of um, insulation yellow color on this side, I would say. And then this dark blue gray on this side with the little paw prints on it. It's beautiful. And I think they will both like those quite a bit. For now, I'm going to tuck those back in here. Don't take my knife. Wow. A little Monday with a knife would just be dangerous. Okay. In fact, I'm going to put all of this in here if I can. There we go. I love this blanket. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. And I'm going to push this out of the way and see box two of two. Uh, these, I actually want to bring some of these up and see how uh, Cuddles likes them because I was just thinking about hanging out up there today, playing some video games in the beanbag chair in her room and giving her some crunchy treats once in a while to sort of regain our friendship. So a um, little bit of bribery will take you a long way with a mom cat. Uh, where's the other piece of this clasp that's self-destructed? I don't know. That's fine. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that piece in there. Are you licking this? He's just licking this thing that had wrapped the kick stick because it probably tastes like catnip. Too silly. Okay, another Bob and Ruth package right here. 
box two of two. Ooh, and it's the blanket box. This one has birds on it, very cute little sparrows all over it. Oh, they're adorable. And it says this is for pajama, pajamas. Uh, we have the same print here, I think. And this one is for hot chocolate. We have a cool animal print right here for marshmallow. And another one of those for cuddles. And then finally, cashmere gets the birds also. Those are very cool blankets, all of them, both the, uh, the leopard print and the bird print. I think that they are going to love their blankets. Thank you very much. Bob and Ruth, I, I really appreciate all that you've done for us over the, the years since um, um, you've been watching and sending things and adopting a cat. So uh, thank you for all of that. It's still appreciated. Okay, these can go over here in the letters pile. This is, how did this get on top of there? I guess it fell off. Uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy mailbag. All right, I guess that's all we know from the outside. Okay, to read on camera. Fantastic. Uh, we had a box very similar to this, by the way, that said, do not open on stream or, or open off uh, air when I just, I left it in the other room. I haven't opened it yet, but to whomever sent it, uh, thank you uh, very much for that. So, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we would first like to introduce ourselves to you. Our names are Carol and Justina, and we are 911 dispatchers in Massachusetts. Wow, how cool. Uh, a fellow co-worker of ours brought to our attention your YouTube channel one day as Carol absolutely loves cats and has three of her own. One day, Justina had a great idea at work, which was to pull your live stream up and place it on a computer screen that wasn't being used. As you can imagine, our job induces a lot of stress and chaos for long shifts that include up to 16 hours at a time a day. Watching Kitten Academy brings us a sense of calm during these work shifts. He's playing with that broken... All right, that's fine. Um, uh, uh, let's see, uh, brings us a sense of calm during these work shifts. Not only does it bring the two of us joy, but it also brings several of our EMTs and paramedics joy when they stop into our office. Oh, that is so sweet to hear. 16-hour uh, days are tough. Um, I know that uh, uh, DJ's hospital used to do long shifts too, and she actually started a new thing there where now they only do like 12-hour shifts at the most, which is cool and I think really helps a lot. Um, so uh, it's it's great that that um, that's just it's very dedicated work though, and I, I just I can't say how much I appreciate what you do. Um, we started watching KA with the tiny whinies. When you announced that a new mom cat was coming in, we anxiously awaited her arrival. We both grew to love Skylight with how sweet she is, and we both agree she's an absolute beautiful cat. As the days went by, we started to guess when she might have her kids and how many kids she might have. Uh, Justina had guessed the week Skylight actually had her kids that she was going to give birth that week. Justina could tell by the way she was lying on the hardwood floor next to the door. Justina had guessed that she was going to have three kids, while Carol guessed that she was going to have four. We both were a little concerned at how tiny Joyce was at first and had been keeping up her current weights. She's grown so much already in such a short time that we are so proud of her. Since the skyscraper's births, Carol is called Rafter, Elvis because of her whitened ears. <laughs> All of these kids are just adorable. Now for cuddles. Her spicy persona had us keeping up with her all the time. We were hoping she would eventually open up and see how loved she will be in her new home for now. We're glad to see all your hard work, attention, and love towards her is paying off. It makes us happy that she got to stay at KA to have the most wonderful experience ever. Cuddles kids keep us entertained, especially hot chocolate. You two humans have an absolute heart of gold for doing what you do to give these cats and kittens an amazing life and home. Thank you for all that you do for them. The enclosed goodies are for Skylight and her kids. Mr. A, we also found you a new perfect pair of socks. Sincerely, Carol and Justina. Well, thank you so much. What a sweet letter um, and what a sweet thing for you to be doing. It's so silly that Monday is playing with that broken half of that clasp with all the cat toys in the room. Oh, now he's playing with the camera cord. It's the stuff that's not the toys that is the most interesting, isn't it? Uh, so, 
Let's see what you have sent. First off, we have freeze-dried shrimp. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I'll never forget these from Millet. Um, uh, well, uh, there was something in there that I wanted to say. Uh, oh, oh yes, that you were guessing when she would give birth. You know, on our Discord, uh, there's always a, sort of a, a, like a pool for when the mom cat will give birth. Um, it's not for money or anything. You know, we're not gamblers. Uh, but whoever guesses the closest always gets cookies. So I think that's really cute and sweet. And the cookies are provided uh, for a long time now by Brew. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for those. Anyway, uh, that's what uh, this is what reminded me because also on there, one of the, the gifts that comes up very often is a millet eating for the, I think the first time millet ever ate. I was very concerned about whether millet would ever eat anything. And uh, we got some of these shrimp in a mailbag and I put some down and millet w fought me to keep eating them, like loved them so much, uh, was, was actively fighting me <laughs> to eat the shrimp. So uh, adorable. I know those can be a big hit with some kittens. These are uh, Tiki Cat Baby Soft and Chewy Mini Treats for Kittens Six Weeks Plus. Oh, so cute. Uh, our kids are just about the right age. Actually, I think they're six weeks this week, aren't they? So that's cute. Um, Tiki Cat Baby. All right. Here we have uh, Feline Greenies Smart Bites, which are a different kind of greenies that are a lot like the Temptations with a, with a center and the crunchy outer shell. Then we have, oh, these must be the socks, and I can already see, <laughs> I can already see these are great. Yes, they are uh, socks that are entirely cat butts. Uh, that's adorable, and I know, I bet DJ's going to steal these and wear these too. She just loves how silly cat butts are, so uh, that is, that's too cute. <laughs> I love all of them. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for the socks. Um, <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that. This really matches uh, what we've got going on in the next room. And it's one of these floor mats again. This one with the glow-in-the-dark stars. And I, I know they're glow-in-the-dark because this uh, perfectly matches the tunnel and the pillow that are in the other room. I'm going to put this out right now, right behind me, because these kids need one in here again. And uh, this is a perfect fit for, uh, well, technically a perfect fit for that room. But I can move it over there a little bit later. For now, I'm just going to put it right here with the, the glow-in-the-dark side up, because that's too much fun. But wait, there's more. Um, here we have, I, I know what this is about, even though I don't see anything here to tell me. I can guess pretty well. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a fish on a spring with a really cool, it's got like this gold in it that's very nice. And then it's got this interesting bottom on it. See if you can guess what you think this would be for with four little spikes on the bottom that hold it. So what do you think you would do with that? Wow, you guys really want this. I know exactly what I would do with it is stick it into one of the cardboard scratchers. Like, for instance, the Infinity Scratcher or the uh, that weird sort of... Um, um, film glasses shaped scratcher that I just deployed for um, cuddles. So I think that it would be perfect for that. And I think that it will go to them, even though Monday is acting like he wants to play with it. It's just be ow, because it's got a bell on it. You're very excited, aren't you? I'm going to stick it in my pocket. This is perfect for putting into a cardboard scratcher. This especially, you know, I have... Um, several other little toys on springs like this that are made as replacements for some of the other spring toys that we have. So I may end up using this base to, to put those into things uh, if it lasts even afterwards, because I think that's just a great idea. Um, but this is mine. It's not yours. Um, is this a pocket? I don't know if that's a real pocket, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Okay. There's more in the box. Hang on. We're not done yet. Uh, Carol and Justine. Uh, here we have a cute little tilted food or water dish with it has cat ears on it. And um, the tilted bowls can be really good for some kittens to use. So this is going to be a fun one. And I love this has little little cat ears, just a nice little touch for the steel bowl. So that's great. Those last forever. We find so many uses for them uh, above and beyond just feeding kittens here and there. They can, they can serve so many purposes. So thank you so much for that. 
Here we have a lovely squeaky bird that's uh, got a little, um, it's got a little battery tab in it. If I pull it out, I'm sure it's going to start squeaking. Actually, I guess we could just deploy it uh, in here. Gosh, that's got a cool texture to it too. Very cute little chirpy bird. Uh, sure, why not? These kids can have it probably. Oh, what do you think of that? Do you want to go catch it? Oh, you guys like that noise? Okay. Where is it? Oh, they're all interested. Okay. All right, we'll let them go catch that. Uh, a little more here. This beautiful purple blanket with paw prints on it. Lovely. Wow, you really packed this box full. We have uh, mylar balls, always a big hit. And springs, also always a big hit. Cat classics. Oh, a little lamb chop. This is so cute. But this lamb chop, um, unlike the ones that we've seen, has little uh, silicone rubber ears that are great for teething, uh, which is perfect for our little kittens um, upstairs that are currently, well, uh, I guess sort of just been through that because they, they do all have their teeth now. And then uh, kittens tend to lose their baby teeth and get their adult teeth right around six months. So that's usually after they have gone from the Kitten Academy. But uh, we could either give this to the kittens anyway, because they just still love to chew on everything, or uh, hang on to it for the next class, I guess. We'll see. And then one more thing in here. Hmm. I think this is interesting that there is a warning on the side that is uh, uh, about uh, a choking hazard, but they have spelled it chalking, which is a very common misspelling, but you don't normally see it in like a professional label. Uh, so it's got a chalking hazard. Okay, hang on. Oh, look at that. It's a tiny little spinny uh, ball track. Whoa, it's like kitten's first ball track. I love it. And it's pink, and it's got this crazy little eyes and face on it. So the, the ball track itself, though, is like a weevil uh, where it's got a weighted bottom, so you can bat it around the whole thing. And then tiny little uh, balls in the ball track, and then a little spring feather on top. This is so cool. Oh, the kitten's upstairs. This is perfect for them. Uh, I'm going to put that back in there. for. Nah, I'm going to put it over here for now, actually, so I can carry it straight upstairs. Uh, you are too big for this one, buddy. Go get the regular ball track. Thank you so much to both of you. These are such thoughtful things for you to send for the kittens, and I know they're going to love them. Thank you, uh, Carol and Justine. I, I uh, really, really appreciate all of it, and these socks are wonderful, too. I can't wait. Uh, so, um, let's see. Hang on. Where can I put these? Um, I think I'm going to try to put all of this over here for now so we can consolidate our boxes. There we go. And this can go over there as well. Perfection. And then I can use this box to take out the stuff that needs... Well, actually, these are all going to... Why am I getting organized? There's one more box. Hang on. One more box to do. I do have to get these treats out of the way before somebody starts biting through the package, though. These can go over here. There we go. Tuck these down at the bottom. Wow, that bird is going to be all we hear in here for a while. And unfortunately, the microphones have mostly been turned on upstairs these days instead of down here. So, okay, one last package. This arrived straight to the house over a week ago, but as you can clearly see, it's labeled April 27 mailbag. That's, uh, gosh, I think that's today, but my watch is still, oh, there we go. Um, yep. For some reason, my watch has decided to go into battery saver mode, and it will not come out of battery saver mode, even though it has a self-reported full battery, because technology, of course. Oh, hey, look at that. Can I get it to turn off here? There we go. Now I got it. Perfect. Hey, figured it out. And today is the 27th, so that's confirmed. Uh, there, this can go in here. This can go over there. And now we finally get to open this box. It's been sitting in the front hall for some time. I can't wait to see what this is all about. I see someone has marked the Fragile. Uh, oh, and we have a knife guard. Okay, all the classics here. 
And one of three. Whoops. Okay, to read on stream. Note one of three. How does that work with one box? So here we have a beautiful watercolor elephant holding an umbrella. Very pretty. Hello, Squall and Wellington's here. Our first birthday is coming up on Monday. Oh, can you believe it? We asked our new lady to make you a present for us. We don't get it, but maybe you do. Anyway, we both wanted to tell you huge thanks for saving us when we were helpless tinies. You were our first mommy and our first daddy because you stayed up all night with us. You fed us by hand and reassured us. Because of you, we got strong. We are thriving now, but we've never forgotten you. We know life wasn't looking so good without your help. Love you forever, Squall and Wellies. Aw, that's so sweet. I'm going to try not to get all teary about it. Uh, we're just going to move on. Um, yeah, I uh, I still, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm just going to say this once. I, I am still not over uh, all the events that, that happened a year ago. Um, not, not remotely. So, um, but uh, Squall and Welly are well worth all of the, uh, the pain that we went through. They're wonderful kittens, and I'm so glad that they have such wonderful adopters. So, uh, anyway. Okay. Two of three. I see. It's not that there are three uh, letters. It's a, is this, this is just a bag, right? I think this is just a bag. Okay, yes, it is just a, just a bag. It's a nice bag, though. I'm sure we will be able to find other purposes for that. In fact, uh, maybe there's enough tissue paper to put in there and see what happens. What is this? This is so big and cool. Okay, hang on. Two of three, huh? There should be something here that says three of three, I expect. Or, oh, there is something in here that says... I see. So this is three of three. So this is three of three. Two of three was the bag, but I think the bag is, goes with this giant... Oh, giant donkey. Look at him. He's huge. He's so cute, too. He's got these big floppy ears and a, a wonderful mane, and he's all sort of hand uh, crocheted um, is what I'm going to go with there. Wow, he's, he's huge. He's got big eyes and such great details, too. He's got like extra, he's got the nostrils that you can clearly make out, big eyes, little eyebrows to give him personality, a great mane. I love the floppy ears. Oh, and he's so soft. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and a cute little tail, too. I would put him straight in with the kittens if, uh, if they were through their pooping and peeing on the wrong things phase, which they're not quite. Uh, but he is adorable. I think I'm going to put him up in the spa for now so that DJ and I can enjoy him for a little bit. Oh, he looks so sad, though, because he can't hold up his big head and he's got those big, sad eyes. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? You'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more. Three of three. And this is... Well, let's see. It's in a sleeve. More tissue. Oh, thank you for rescuing us. Oh, this is so cute. It's pictures of Squall and Wellington. And uh, there's also a picture of them with me. But there's pictures of them in their new home with the donkey. Uh, that's great. So that kind of goes together now, and uh, this will this will make sure that that uh, every time I see him, I'm thinking of them. That's that's just wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. What a thoughtful thing and fun thing to send, and uh, what a I'm so glad that they're having their first birthday and they look very healthy. <sighs> it's uh, it's really good to see them. Uh, I gotta. I'm gonna. We're gonna just go straight to cleaning up though, because otherwise. Uh, I'm going to get all teary here on the stream, and I'd like to try to avoid that, not just for my sake, but for your sake, too. Let's see if that idea I had will work. Can I put this in here and maybe make it into something the kids want to play with a little? Let's find out. Um, to, uh, to Squall and Welly, thank you so much, and to your doctors, thank you so much for sending this, all of it. It's wonderful. The, uh, the little donkey is amazing. There we go. I don't. I, I think you guys know the reason that we've got so many donkeys here at uh, KA is the uh, people making fun of my complete inability to pronounce uh, German. Uh, so uh, that's that's the joke that it all comes back to. 
me though, I don't I don't take the blame for that. I, I blame uh, Wayne Newton. Uh, that's that's who I blame. Uh, which I'm sure that's a statement that makes perfect sense to somebody. So, all right, I'm going to put these right in there. We're going to leave that out and see what happens. And for the rest of it, I am going to clean up right meow. Just uh, keep moving. Sometimes, sometimes you just keep moving. All right, uh, thanks again for everything from everybody. It, it really means a lot. Uh, you guys take wonderful care of us, and you take wonderful care of the cats and kittens. I know I get a lot of credit, but uh, I don't do it alone. Okay, put that back in the pocket there. And I'm going to turn off my mic now, so if I have to go blow my nose, you all don't have to listen to it. This box. The rest of this, I think, is good enough for now. Did you have enough fun eating this note, buddy? He actually didn't tear it up very much. He mostly just crushed it. Trent's note. So there we go. Put that in there. Put my knife back in the knife box. This and this. Oh, custard, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. If you want to trade places with love, you can, but not yet. Logan's actually out in the cavern, so I can't let Custard in yet. I'm not going to bother to go out and get Logan. I'll just wait until he comes in and see if Custard still wants to be in here. At that point, these can go for now. Hang on. I don't think Custard actually wants to come in here. He just wants to hang out with me. He's following me all around the house. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and then uh, maybe see our mom cats and stuff too. So thank you again to everybody for for everything. Um, it's, it's wonderful. You're wonderful. And uh, well, I'll leave you in the care of these kittens and cats for now.